Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina, I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, I am doing a long overdue again update on my team project pan. I have all my goodies in my basket in front of me here. Uh, I think it's been about two months since I've done my last update on this project with all the other videos that I was filming and trying to publish and upload. I have let it go a little bit longer. So I do believe it's about two months. I've got some pretty good progress on some of these products. I'm very excited to share with you today, my empties and my roll-ins, roll-outs, all of that jazz. If that interests you at all, then stay tuned. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe down below if you do enjoy watching project panning videos. I do a lot on my channel. I do a lot of other beauty related content. So if that interests you at all, make sure you're subscribed. And without further ado, let's jump on into the update. Team Project Pan is a full face rolling project pan. I have a spreadsheet that I follow to help me keep track of what I'm focusing on and using each time. This year, I was planning on structuring it the same way I did last year where I did four individual project pans within the project. So I would refresh quarterly with a complete new set of products. That kind of slipped by the wayside when I went overseas. I didn't take all of the products with me. So for the most part, the products in quarter two and three, they've just kind of rolled over from quarter two to three. It's been a little bit jumbled with all of my project pans this year because I was away for, uh, it was about two months. <laughs> like it was about a month and a half in total. And for the rest of like the second month, I wasn't really feeling like wearing makeup all that much so it was basically like two months out of a quarter that i wasn't really wearing any makeup i've been working on these products like crazy now that i've been back at work full time for a couple of months now so i'm starting to see you know that really decent progress show again which i'm very very much enjoying without further ado let's start at the top of the list and you guys always know primers is at the top of my list i am currently working on the Fasali liquid glass and i know this looks empty but it's not quite empty it is so incredibly close i want to say maybe um, maybe like two or three maybe up to five uses left on this one and it will be completely done. There's some products sitting in the little pipette. So I'd say that maybe might be two uses and then a little bit in the bottle, maybe another two to three uses. This one is definitely gonna be done by the next update. I'm very excited to get another primer out of my collection. I am, I'm, I'm working kind of simultaneously between this one and the Kryolan at the moment. It just depends on which foundation I put on for the day. So I'm also making some all right progress on that one as well. So hopefully I'll have two complete primers done by the end of the year. Crossing my fingers. I'm very excited about that. The next category is probably one of the most I'm excited to share with you. My foundation category. Now you guys know if you were here last year, I've been working on three foundations since the start of last year. I've already used up two in this project. So that was my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation and my Omar Beauty Say What Foundation. The last one that I had left was the Ultraviolet Dream Screen. Now last month or the month before I deposited it into, actually no, it was like way, 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 way long ago. It was back in, um, it was back in March because I used my little pot of the, or the packaging from the ultraviolet dream screen to put my Mac <laughs> face and body in so I could get a packaging for back to Mac. So I depotted everything that was left in the dream screen into this little tub. And as you can see, drum roll, it is finally, finally finished. I am so happy to see this one done. I'm very proud of myself. I can't believe that I finally got one finished or that one finished in particular because it seemed to be going on for an eternity. So I'm very happy to have that one done. Concealer. Concealer is being a little bit of a problem child. This is my Nabla close-up concealer. I have taken the stopper out. I did take the stopper out earlier this month or sometime last month, I think. Anyway, since the last update, but there is still like quite a lot of product right down the bottom. I've already gotten like my spatula in there once. At the moment, I'm really trying to get everything off the side of the tube. That's my current goal. And then I'll like scrape up the stuff from the bottom again. But like the doe foot still has a lot on it as well. So 
once I use this up, I can start like really scraping the sides a lot more. I definitely think, I thought that I wasn't going to have this one done by the end of the year. I think there's definitely a very high chance that I'll have this one done by the end of the year. Probably not by the next update though. And then in terms of usage, I have used up 0.68 of gram, which I think is a pretty, pretty solid effort. There's four mils of product in this one. Next up is powders. Starting off with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I have been using this one a little bit actually because I've really been trying to focus on using up some of my foundation samples. I really want to get at least 20 of those samples finished up before the end of the year. So far we're doing well. We're like three quarters of the way there now. Um, but some of them have been really quite orange on my skin. So I've found that just going a little bit over the top with this one or using this one as like a setting powder. Um, really helps neutralize the color a little bit because this does have a bit of a pink tinge to it so it kind of evens it out a little bit it doesn't make it so like ghastly contrast with the color um so yeah i've used a little bit more than i normally do i use 0.15 of a gram so we're getting there and i do feel like maybe when when it settles now in the tub it it is not so full you can kind of see little like window pockets around the outside so there is there is some hope maybe that I might be able to get it finished in this lifetime. Then my main powder that I've been using and focusing on this year has been my Hourglass Veil Powder. And I managed to get this one completely finished. I really enjoy this powder. I definitely would consider repurchasing it in the future. I don't love the packaging, but I do really like the contents. So I would definitely grab this one in a heartbeat in the future. I really enjoyed it. And even for oily skin, it's supposed to be, it is a veil setting powder. So it does have a bit of like a slight, ever so slight luminosity to it. But I even find for my oily skin, it's totally fine. It really helps with um, like longevity and stuff like that. I really liked how it sat on my skin. I did buy like, how many was it? I think I brought three powders overseas. So probably not anytime soon. And then I also have another one in my collection at the moment. I've got my magic powder and I've also got my Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. So I think I'm set for powders for a while, but I might be tempted to just, you know, on a whim, pick it up because I'll use the powders eventually. I'll, I'll get there eventually. So that one's finished. That's another empty, currently at two empties for this update. Very exciting. Next up is a product that I'm very proud of the progress on this product. It is my Too Faced Glitter Glue. I finally found the air bubble. I've been going on about how I thought that there was an air bubble in this tube for ages. Like I've been writing about it for ages, raving about it for ages, that I, I was certain there was an air bubble in here. I found it and now it looks so small compared to what it used to. Like we've just got a bit at the end here. I did use 0.12 of a gram, which I mean, in the grand scheme of things is not that much product, but this tube has 11 grams, so I'm, I'm slowly making good progress. I still haven't used up a gram since I rotated this in, but I'm happy with the progress I'm making. I'm using this very consistently. I don't love how it looks when I use it consistently, but it's a great glitter glue. So I used it today for my, my shimmer on my eyes. Like you can't go wrong with this as a glitter glue, but in terms of a all over eyeshadow primer, I personally just find it a little bit thick and I get like this edge on my eyeshadow. It it's, can be quite noticeable if you don't blend it out while it's still tacky. The, the like trade off for that is your eyeshadow stays in place all bloody day. Benefit Cabral, oh my God. Benefit Cabral, she's in my sights. I'm ready. I am this close. I never thought that I would see the day but I reckon maybe, maybe one or two months left and it will be completely done. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see what's left in here, but the only product that I have left is this little bit here on the edge and then I'm completely done. So I am on the home stretch. Maybe, I reckon I could get it done before the end of the next update. So cross your fingers, wish me luck. I am on the home stretch with this product. There is only a teeny tiny little bit left and I'm so happy about it. 
So I think that's probably my biggest progress this month. I only use 0 0.06 of a gram, but it's the 0 0.06 that counted because we're almost done. We are almost done. I see the end. I see the light with that one. She's going to a grave soon. She's going into a grave soon. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait to be rid of that one. Another product that I finished up in the brow category was my Mecca Max uh, Brow Guru Control Gel. This was, this was in clear, but the by the time I finished with it, it was no longer clear. But I'm very happy to have it done. It's actually really satisfying having like an empty tube, a clear empty tube of a brow gel. Oh, look how satisfying that is. Managed to get this one done. Um, I... I would consider repurchasing this one if the spoolie was smaller. The spoolie is like the length of a mascara one. So if it was shorter and maybe a little, tiny little bit smaller, I would definitely pick this one up in a heartbeat, especially because it's super cheap um, compared to other brow gels. But just given that it's, it's just really big and chunky for the brow gel, I don't love that wand. Now to replace that one, I am going to rotate in my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix. This is another clear brow gel. This is another wand that I'm not, I mean, size wise, it is slightly smaller, but I'm not loving it. I just find for me personally, it brings out too much product. I don't love that super wet, super crusty, like glossy eyebrow look. I prefer it to look a little bit more natural. If you don't scrape this off, I find myself scraping a shit ton of product off this wand before I use it on my brows. Your eyebrows look like they're swimming in goop and I don't love that. Um, I'm gonna continue to use this one up and I, I hope that as it slowly starts to like dry out just a hint that it won't be so like swimming in my brow or my brows swimming in gel when I apply it. At the moment, I'm just wiping it off and it's, it's it's fine. I don't love having to do that, but it's fine. Lip product category. Now, I did a little boo-boo and I left the lip balm that I'm currently focusing on at work. That's my ultra violet lip balm in nude. I left that one at work. So just as a little treat to make up for that, I thought that I would let you know how I'm going on my other ultraviolet lip balm, which I was using in the project for the first quarter. So this will come back at some point, probably in the last quarter at this rate. But I just wanted to let you know how I'm going on this one. Last time I weighed this, it weighed 16.05 grams and now it's down to 13 grams. So I've definitely made some seriously good progress on this one. I don't know whether I'm going to have it done by the end of the year. I definitely, again, writing on about the, going on about the air bubbles, but I definitely know that there are a few air bubbles in this center section here down the bottom. Um, so I hope that maybe when I hit the air bubbles, it might drop. Currently, I'm using this every day on my lips whilst I'm doing like my complexion products. So I'll do my foundation powder put this on and then whilst I'm doing my blush, bronzer, highlight, brows, all of that, I've got this just like sitting on my lips before I put all my lip products on. I really like, I really like this lip balm specifically for that purpose. Um, it gives you like a good coat. It moisturizes your lips. I, I do enjoy it for that purpose. So I'm going to continue on with this one. I'm hopeful that I can get both of them out of my collection before the end of the year, but I don't know whether that's going to happen. Another two products that I'm very excited to update you on. So my Maybelline Touch of Spice Lip Stick and my Fenty Beauty Gloss in Taffy Tees. These aren't finished, but they're very close. So this is how much I have left of my Maybelline lipstick. I reckon maybe, maybe a week, maybe a bit longer than a week and I'll have this like completely flattened to the plastic. And then my Fenty Beauty Gloss, I did take the stopper out of this one and there's still some product. I don't know whether you can see that, but down the bottom of the tube, there's still quite a bit collected down there. But I do think that I'll have this one done by hopefully the next update. That's my goal 
is to have this one done by the next update. In relation to my Maybelline lipstick, I did use 1.92 grams of this one, Huli Dooli, and my Fenty lip gloss, I used 1.35 grams of this one. I'm very impressed by that. <laughs> very, very impressed. Ciate lip, um, liquid velvet, liquid lipstick in pinup. I think I only used this one once because I only used 0.11 of a gram of it. So uh, I need to pull my finger out if I want to get a liquid lipstick used before the end of the year. Next up is my blush. So I rotated this one in last uh, update. So this was the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll. This one's kind of given me a rude awakening. I used to use this one a bucket load back in the day. So I thought that I would be further along in it than I actually am. Um, turns out that there's a lot of blush in here. <laughs> and I thought that maybe like with a week or two of consistent use that I might actually have a pan. But I accidentally, because these have come apart, this is like my other one, I accidentally like it came apart one day and I accidentally like gouged out a chunk there. And I don't know if you can see, but that chunk seems to go down quite a way and it doesn't even reach the pan. So now I'm concerned. So since this happened, um, I only used 0.14 of a gram of this one over the last like two months. Since this one happened, I decided that I wanted to really focus on the blush in my hourglass palette that is currently in my pan that palette. And I've neglected this one. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm probably still going to keep it in the project. Just and I'll reach for it every now and then. It's a nice blush to wear and like you can wear it quite heavily because it doesn't go. It doesn't look excessive on the skin because of the color. But I do really want to finish up the blush that's in that hourglass palette. So it's probably not going to get that much love, but I'll do my best. Moving on is the two skincare products that I'm currently focusing on this quarter. First up is this serum right here. This is the S5 Purity Blemish Prone Skin Serum. I have used 11.73 grams of this one. I don't know whether you can see, but it's like way down the bottom here. It's actually at the point where it's difficult to get up the pipette. So I have to like tip it on the side and then use the pipette. I've been using this as like a back of my neck, down my shoulders and arms serum. I don't like this on my face and I'm not entirely sure how old this is. So I wasn't game to use it on my face. Um, so I've just been using it on my like back of my neck, back of my shoulders and arms. I don't know if it's actually doing anything. I don't know if it even did anything when I first got it, but that's the way I've been using it. That's what has allowed me to use quite a lot of it because it's like almost one full pipette for like one side and then another one down the other side. So I'm making really good progress with this given that I've decided to use it that way. And I think that I will have this one finished by the next update. This is the C to Skin Active Hydration Mask. This is like a little squeezy pouch. I only use 0.16 of a gram of this one, which is extremely disappointing. I really want to make sure I get this one finished by the end of the year. That's like the overall goal. If I could get it done before then, that would be fantastic. But I think if I could just at least have it finished by the end of the year, I'll, I'll be happy with that. Even if I only use this maybe, maybe like twice a month, I think that may, maybe that might even be enough. Given that we're in, what are we, September, September, October, November, December, I've still got four months, eight uses. I reckon I could have this one finished in eight uses. Even if I just try, even if I just try and just stick to two uses a month, I think I can have it done. Nail polishes, I haven't done too bad on the nail polish front actually. So starting off with my Holo Taco Glossy Top, Glossy Taco, uh, I use 0.92 of a gram of this one. So almost a whole gram. I think that's a really decent amount. Does it say on the bottle how much product? No, it doesn't. I thought it might say how much product, but it's sitting like around almost halfway used, I reckon. So I'm making good progress on that one. And then my Kesta Black Miracle Base Coat, I use 0.72 of a gram. And again, this one I reckon is sitting about 
halfway. And last but not least is my Essie Mind Your Mittens. This is my color that I'm currently working on. Um, I shook this one up earlier today, but I was sitting around basically like halfway. I've actually used 1.53 grams of this one. Hooly dooly. Um, I was going through a stage there where I was painting my nails quite consistently, but they've kind of gone to the shit at the moment. So I haven't painted them in maybe like a bit over a week, but I will paint them again at some point. I should have put this on my toes, but I decided to put like a brighter color on my toes. Um, I always find when I put nail polishes on my toes, I feel like I use a lot more product, if that makes sense. Floral Botanica Perfume by Balenciaga. This one, this is the perfume that I want out of my collection this year. I have used 15.14 grams of this. And if you look at the side here, we're sitting like here i should have put a black line i'm sorry guys i've used about like half of what there was last time i mentioned this one maybe a little bit over half actually so i reckon maybe like one or two months and i'll have this one done i'm going to use this one through to the end of september if i haven't finished this by the end of september i think i might rotate something else in just for maybe the one month or to use them both at the same time. Like I can pick between the two whenever I want and then just use it that way until the end of the year. Like I'll use it like alternating days or like only when I feel like it. Cause I think if I power through this for another month, um, I'll be very, very close. So I won't need to, I could, I could have a break of this at the end of the month. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot to deal with that one. So hair, hair care is actually another category that I'm very excited to share with you. I've used up two more hair care items. I am ecstatic. Let's start with one of them. The first one is the Pure Oil of Marrakesh Argan Oil. I finally managed to have this one finished. I, I got it all finished and used up. I'm so happy because this bottle has been in my collection for an eternity. So I'm very happy to have that one finished. Then we have my KMS Flat Out Straightening Cream. I've used 18.35 grams of this one, so I'm still making really good progress on this one each update. I don't know whether you can see, I think it's sitting like maybe down around here. So there's still a lot of product left in it, but I think I'm over halfway now, which is very exciting. If I continue to use like 20 grams of this, every month i reckon i'll have it done just just before christmas or yeah just before the end of the year so fingers crossed for me i'm hopeful that i can have this one done before the end of the year i'm i think it's possible i'm getting very very close then we also have my Davines invisible serum this is another one that i could potentially have done before the end of the year I use 6.33 grams of this one. When I shine it into the light, it's sitting down around here. It is kind of like sloping in terms of the product, but overall it's, it's about here. So again, if I continue to use six grams of this one every month, I reckon there's a very high chance that I could have this one finished soon. I'm very happy. I'm so happy with my progress. All my hair care items is finally happening for me. We also have another empty. This is my other argan oil that I have been working on. This is the Argania light hair oil. Um, it's just a argan oil, but it was like a thinner consistency. Just a like little deluxe sample size. I managed to get that one finished. I have two more hair care items. Next one is the Stadel hairspray. I only use 0.16 of a gram, so not that great, but still usage nonetheless. And then the last hair care item I need to update you on is the Noosa Basics Sea Salt Spray. I've used this one a little bit. I used 0.34 of a gram. So it's dropped the level ever so slightly, but not enough for my liking. I would really like to have, I think I've got this one and another Sea Salt Spray in my collection. I'd like to have at least one of them out of my collection by the end of the year. I have decided that I want to rotate in a hair care product. Given that I've used up both of my hair oils, I am going to rotate in this uh, Yarok Feed Your Sunshine Hair Serum. This one is used as like a 
pre-wash treatment. So I'm going to just use this one. I reckon that I could probably get this one done before the end of the next update. It's sitting like maybe halfway. So I reckon I could have this one easily done. My hair care collection, it's it was getting to a manageable point and then I decided to go overseas and like buy a lot of hair care products that I didn't need. So I got it down to like a manageable amount and now it's like blown out of proportion again. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get maybe like one or two, maybe three or four more items out of my collection before the end of the year. If I could get like these two and this one, I think I'm going to have this one done really soon and maybe a hairspray. I would be very happy with that. I'd be absolutely over the moon with that progress because I have been smashing it in the hair care category this year, if I do say so myself. I've gotten some very tough products out of my collection this year. Oh, actually, I forgot to update you on two items. Too Faced Chocolate, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, I haven't been using this one as much as I normally do just because of the whole hourglass palette aspect. There was a bronzer in there when I introduced that palette into the pen, the palette that I was like halfway through. So I really wanted to get that one finished. And then the powder that's above that, I believe it's called Dim Light. I also was making really good progress on that one. So I'm really trying to get that one finished as well. That's the next one that's in my sides. Once I finish that one up, I am like, I'm really gonna focus back in on this Too Faced. Um, bronzer. I only use 0.15 of a gram, but I reckon I'm getting really close to hitting pan. I don't know if you can see that dip that's starting to show right in the center there. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Um, the dip's really starting to show in the center. So I am hopeful that I will have pan on this one very soon. On days that I'm wanting like a bit more of a simpler eye, I will just use this in my crease like to start my eyeshadow. So I am getting a little bit of progress in that center there because that's where I've been dipping my eyeshadow brushes for the most part. So that's why there's a little bit more noticeable wear right in the center there. I'm hopeful that I can have pan on this one before the end of the year. And going back to the foundation category, because I've used up all of the foundations that I've included in this project pan so far this year, I am gonna rotate one in. I do not have high expectations for myself with this one though. This is not a this is not a foundation that I love using on an everyday basis. So I am I'm not going to put a high expectation on myself. In saying that though, I would love to have this one out of my collection before the end of the year. Um, it is my Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. This is in 010. My friend gave this to me, I think it was last year or late last year. It wasn't working for her, so she gave it to me. The color's a little bit off because my friend is a lot paler. Well, she's not a lot paler, but she is a few shades paler than I. So for just color wise, I do have to mix this one. I have lately been mixing it with my MAC Face and Body because I've now finished up the Ultraviolet Dream Screen. I am sitting about probably like a third of the way through. So I'm hopeful that I can have this one done before the end of the year. It is quite a heavy foundation, like it's quite full coverage. So I do enjoy mixing it with something like the MAC Face and Body to really like shear it down a little bit. I'm gonna see how I go. I'm not putting high expectations on myself, but I definitely would like to have another foundation out of my collection before the end of the year. And this is the one that I've got the most progress on. All of the rest are basically brand new. So we will we will see how I go. And after my, after my US haul, like I really need to try and get some foundations out of my collection because otherwise they're all gonna expire at the same time. And last but not least, as you know, is my samples. So, I always try and use up at least a hundred samples in this project every year. I've done it for the last two years, so I can't really say every year. This is only my second year doing it. 
I had a sample box that was getting absolutely out of control. So last year I made it my mission to get my samples down to a more manageable size and doing this in my team project pan has dramatically reduced the amount of samples and it's really helped me keep on top of my sample collection and it's really encouraged me as well to use them and not save them for a rainy day or save them for a trip that I hardly ever do so I'm actually using them now so I've used up like 20 odd I think in this project um, for the last two months which I think is it's ridiculous but I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to quickly go through and share with you what ones I have used up in no particular order. We have a uh, Paula's Choice Intensive Wrinkle Repair Retinol Serum, a Mary Kay Mask Pod. This was the Dewy Gal. I think this, I think this might have finally been the last one that I had to use up. Uh, the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap in Lavender. I've got a... Floral Street Wonderland Peony Perfume Sample, the Mary, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Elixir, the Cosmetics Define Age Defining Treatment. I really liked this one. Sunday Riley UFO uh, Facial Oil, La Roche Posay Effaclar H, Too Faced Born This Way in Vanilla, I believe it was. Sawasu Balancing Emulsion EX. Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. Really liked that one. Dermalist Radiance All Serum. This one was nice, but the packaging on the sample was so bad. The Alpha Path Crystalli Liquidy, the original. This was like a hair oil. Um, the smell of that, though, smelt like men's cologne it was a little bit off-putting hourglass uh liquid powder foundation this one was in light beige hourglass illusion hyaluronic skin tint in nude dermalogica daily microfoliant when i finish up my sand and sky whatever it's called, the Sand and Sky Exfoliating Powder, whatever it's called, I wanna get a full size of this one. Ultraviolet SPF 50 Plus, this was the body um, and hand sunscreen. Uh, we Bear Bears Eye Sheet Mask, Skin Republic Under Eye Gel Mask. Um, this is a three pack and I think I only had one left. Yeah, I only had one left in that one. The Mecca Cosmetica Hydrating Hydrogel Sheet Mask. The Dr. Jart Rubber Mask Moist Lovers Moist Wrapping Rubber Mask. This one was something different. <laughs> and the packaging was ginormous. I'm finally glad that I've got that one out of my collection. Innisfree Special Care Foot Mask. And last but not least is the Mecca Cosmetica Brightening Hydrogel Sheet Mask. So that was like another like 20 something added to the list. I think I'm sitting around 76 or something samples so far this year. I'm really trying to get to the 100 before the last quarter because for the last quarter, I really just want to focus on the products and try and get you know, the last little bits done with them instead of trying to focus on getting my samples to 100. And given how many I used over the last two months, I reckon there's a very high chance that I might be able to get the last like 24 odd done um, between now and the end of September. Cross your fingers for me. So that's my update on my team project pan. Let me know down in the comments how you're going on your project pans. Are you focusing on any product category in your collection specifically let me know down in the comments that's it for this video i hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day there's some more videos on the screen if you do want to stick around and watch some more videos and with that all being said i will see you on the next video goodbye beautiful